A show of force by Congolese soldiers as they take us to their defense positions against the Allied Democratic Forces Rebel Group, or ADF, deep in the forest. The army has sent five generals to command 22,000 soldiers in the fight against an estimated 2,000 ADF fighters on the run in the jungle. The generals discuss strategy and visit troops on the front line. We are dealing with terrorists. They are now unable to fight the military, so they go back and kill civilians, but will not stop until they leave. United Nations officials say the rebels are holding hundreds of hostages kidnapped in the last year and a half. The ADF was formed in western Uganda in the 1990s with the aim of creating an Islamic state. The Ugandan army forced the fighters to move to neighboring DRC, where they were initially tolerated. The aims of ADF aren't clear, but they attack and rob villages like this one with guns and machetes to cut their victims to pieces. This is the last village before you get to areas in the forest where the military is fighting ADF. People here have told us that they had been terrorized by the group for so long. And army commanders we've talked to say that soldiers have been able to push the group farther into the forest. They have killed many of them, including some commanders, and that the group is very much on the run. Some Congolese say the military is using a local armed group called Mai Mai to help fight the ADF. Army commanders we talked to denied that some Mai Mai factions have been accused of human rights abuses in remote villages they control. This woman says the Mai Mai arrested her and five other women who were accused of attempting to poison someone in the community. I told them I did not try to poison anyone, but they would not believe me. They were beating us badly. I decided to run. They shot me. Doctors had to amputate one of my legs. UN peacekeepers say they have increased patrols in villages and are providing tactical and logistical support to their Congolese army. These ADF rebels sometimes attack villages that are close to military bases and positions. It's surprising. People think security forces aren't doing enough. Either they are disorganized or their strategy to defeat ADF is not working. Nearly 1,000 Congolese villagers have been killed by ADF since the military offensive against the group started in October. Victims we talk to say they just want their attacks to stop. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Benny, in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo.